This is the 20th video in our series looking at how to complete a basic setup and configuration of a Synology network attached storage device, or as they're more commonly referred to, a NAS. Just like any other device that you would connect to your home network, you need to ensure that your Synology NAS remains secure by regularly checking for and then performing software updates. Software updates will not only patch security holes or fix bugs, they can also add new features and improve the performance of your NAS. Before we get started, it should be noted that it is best practice to have completed a full backup of all of the data stored on your NAS before you perform any updates to Distation Manager. We will be looking at performing local and cloud-based backups in a future video. As you can see here, we are currently logged into the Distation Manager via our administrator's account. At the moment, overlaying the control panel icon, we have a small number one. This number is acting as a visual clue to inform us that we have an update available, so let's open the control panel. Now from within system, we need to locate and select Update and Restore. By default, we are taken to the DSM Update tab, which will show us any relevant information about updates to the DSM that we can make. First, we're shown the model name of our NAS. The model name will give us some idea about when this model of NAS was originally released. In this example, we know that this model was released in 2013. Current DSM version, as the name suggests, identifies what version of DSM is currently running on our NAS, while status is informing us that a new version of DSM is available for download. You can see that next to the version number, we have a link called What's New. When we select What's New, we're shown the release notes for the update that we're about to install. The release notes are actually quite detailed. The first section of the notes will document any issues of importance. Of particular interest to us is a notification that DSM 6.2 will be the last upgradable version that certain models of NAS will be able to receive. Looking through this list, we can see that the model of NAS that we are currently using is included in this list. As a general rule of thumb, when Synology release a new model of NAS, you can expect that model to be supported for roughly seven years. For the first five years after a model is released, a NAS will receive free updates to DSM, which will include new features, functions, and performance improvements. Then for a further two year period, the NAS will only receive security and bug fixes. As our model of NAS, we'll still receive updates to keep the device secure, we will continue to use this NAS for a further two years. Next, we're shown what's new in this version of DSM. While fixed issues, as the name suggests, informs us of what issues have been fixed by Synology. Let's return to Distation Manager, and having reviewed the release notes, download the latest update. While we wait for the update to download, let's take a look at update settings. If you can remember back to episode two, when we initially installed Distation Manager onto our NAS, we were given three options relating to the update and maintenance of the DSM. At the time, we chose to manually control the update and installation of the DSM software. This was because we prefer to have elevated levels of control over what is and what is not installed on our NAS. From within update settings, we will find three options that allow us to control how DSM is updated. The first option is the option that we prefer to use as it only checks for the latest DSM updates. As a home user, we want to be notified about all of the latest updates, features, enhancements, and security fixes that can be installed onto our NAS. However, for someone running a NAS in a business environment, 
more than likely they will want their NAS to perform in a more consistent and predictable manner. This is because new features and enhancements could potentially break existing services running on that NAS. So in a business scenario, you would choose the option to only check for important and security updates. The third setting is a checkbox that will automate the checking and installation of DSM updates. You can see from the drop down menu that we have three options. Install newest DSM updates automatically. Install important DSM updates automatically. And notify me of DSM updates, but let me choose whether to install them. Directly under the drop down menu, we can set the schedule for the automated process that we choose. In this example, if we set notify me of DSM updates, but let me choose whether to install them, we can set the days and times when those checks will take place. As we wish to continue to manually check and install updates for ourselves, we will remove the tick from check for DSM updates automatically and then select the OK button. Manual DSM update is an alternative method for updating the DSM. You might use this option if your NAS is not connected to the internet, but you need to install a performance or bug fix. In order to perform a manual update, you will need a .pat file. You should be able to find the .pat files for your model of NAS in the support section of the Synology website. Now that the update file has been downloaded to our NAS, we are ready to start the installation process. As this update will require that our NAS is rebooted, we first need to notify anyone that is using our NAS that they should log out of their user account. When we select Update Now, we are notified that the NAS cannot be powered off while the update is installed, and that the system will reboot itself. When we select Yes, our NAS will display a counter showing us how much of the update process has been completed. A second counter will then inform us that the NAS is restarting. Once our NAS has been updated, we will be returned to the login screen for the DSM. We now need to log back into the DSM and check that all of the services on our NAS are actually running correctly. So to recap, in this video we took a look at the settings for updating Disk Station Manager. We then demonstrated how to perform a DSM update. In the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at an application built into every Synology NAS called FileStation.